Hello and welcome to this video on how to use the model test option in the M Plus software. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel, I present weekly statistics tutorials, usually related to structural equation modeling, factor analysis, or latent class analysis. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional resources, including a link to my free weekly newsletter. In this video here, I want to show you how you can use the so-called model test option in the M plus software. The model test option can be useful when you want to examine specific parameter constraints and test whether certain restrictions are um, statistically significant. And I want to illustrate this here based on a simple two factor model of confirmatory factor analysis. You can see here I have four variables in this example data set y1, y2, y3, and y4. And I'm specifying a simple two factor model where the factor f1 is measured by the variables y1 and y2 and the factor f2 is measured by the variables y3 and y4. You can see that I included a label here behind y2. I gave um, this factor loading of y2 the label L2 for lambda2 or loading2. And then I gave also a label to the loading parameter for y4 and I gave it the label L4 for lambda four. And so um, what you can do then is if you wanted to, for example, test whether the factor loadings L2 and L4 are equal, you can test this by using the model test option without um, setting these parameters formally equal in your model. So they will be freely estimated. Um, as free parameters, but in the, with the model test option, you can then test the constraint that they are equal in the population using a walled statistic. And so that is done by specifying model test colon, and then L2 is equal to L4 means that we are testing the null hypothesis that the two loadings are equal in the population. So the loading of y2 on f1 here would be then the same as the loading of y4 on f2. Now, why could this be meaningful? Why could be this? How could this be a meaningful constraint? For example, let's say if this were a longitudinal confirmatory factor analysis where the factor f1 refers to the um, first time point and the factor f2 refers to the second time point and the variables y1 and y2 are the same as the variables y3 and y4 but measured at two separate time points. Then we might be interested in studying whether the loadings are equivalent across time for measurement invariance or measurement equivalence and so then this might be a meaningful thing to test whether these factor loadings are in fact statistically different or not. Or you could test all kinds of other um, other parameters. So this is a very flexible option. It only requires that you give um, parameters a label that you want to test for, that you want to test restrictions for. And then you can use these labels in the model test option to um, test all kinds of different constraints. Let's take a look at the output for this, um, this example here, when we go down, everything looks like normal. You still get your overall chi-square test of model fit with one degree of freedom. And this model has loadings that are freely estimated for Y2 and Y4. And so the model still has one degree of freedom. And we can see here in the model results section that the loading of y2 is estimated to be 0.978 and the loading of y4 is estimated to, to be 1.118. So in fact, they are pretty similar in magnitude. So if this were a longitudinal analysis, then it could be that they're not statistically different, that there is measurement equivalence of the loadings with regard to the loadings in this model here. Now, going back up, you can see that below the standardized root mean square residual fit index, you get something that you normally wouldn't get in M plus, and that's the wall test of parameter constraints. You only get this test 
when you use the model test option. And you can see the value of the test statistic is given here 1.833. It has one degree of freedom because we are testing one constraint, the equality of those two loadings, and the p-value is 0.1757, which would be non-significant at an alpha level of 0.05, which is commonly used, which means this is a non-significant walled statistic indicating that the null hypothesis cannot be rejected. So the null hypothesis here is that the loadings are equal. So in other words, um, this is not falsified, this idea that the loadings are equal between Y2 and Y4 because the test is not significant. In contrast, a significant wall statistic would indicate that the constraints or the hypothesis about the constraint is, re is rejected. So if this were significant, then that would indicate that there's a significant difference between those two factor loadings. I hope you found this short video useful about how to use the model test option in M plus for testing parameter constraints. If you liked it, then please don't forget to hit the like button to subscribe to this channel and to check out the description for additional resources and I'll see you next week.